Hello, good morning. It's Tuesday the 12th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So Boris has amended the stay at home message. Now we must stay alert. Stockpiling Lou Roll is so passe. Got to get those Red Bulls in these days. He's of course had plenty of criticism for being confusing and unclear, but it seems he's happy to put more responsibility on the public to use their common sense. Not sure that's such a good idea. Of course, the government is conflicted between safeguarding the population and trying to kickstart the economy. Uh, but if the solution is to leave it to the people to maintain social distancing and minimise contact, we could see that second wave sooner than you think. But who knows? The COVID alert level graphic is, after all, pretty close to that Nando's spice chart, so maybe we'll be all right after all. We just need to make sure those spice snobs finally accept that lemon and herb is a good thing. You know who you are. Uh, hospitality will stay closed until at least the 4th of July. Bars and restaurants are, uh, are pretty much guaranteed a V-shaped recovery, especially if this a beer garden weather holds out but uh, with at least seven more weeks to go I suppose the real question is how many of those businesses will survive until then. Um, so far the, the financial markets are oh, they seem pretty prepared to wait and see but sterling slipped slightly yesterday we saw uh, 122.85 against the dollar. Over in the US, the desperation to get back to work has seen the opening of some bars, restaurants and retail outlets, which goes way beyond the current level of restrictions. But hey, you know, the land of the free, maybe they're free to spread it around as much as they like. Um, Trump, he hasn't fared too well from Friday's employment report. Um, You'll remember he had a fairly casual reaction to more than 20 million jobs being lost in April. That, of course, and understandably, was not well received, despite his confidence that most of the job losses would be recouped in the coming months. Uh, he looks to be losing a little bit of ground in several states that, that could be key battlegrounds in the November election. Um, meanwhile, the dollar support, that's holding up a bit better. Uh, Euro dollar moved close to the 108 figure yesterday, uh, so Trump could take a leaf out of the currency book, book perhaps. Uh, right, lovely stuff. That's it from me. Hope the weather holds. Um, have a nice day. I'll see you tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.